So hey guys, this is Mrs. Chaparro back at you with another video on evaluating expressions. So what we're going to talk about today is a lot of the same stuff I've already introduced and we're going to go over it again. So today is April 28, 2020 and let's get started with evaluating expressions with yours truly. Here we go. The first problem that we're going to solve today is 6m plus 2. We're going to solve it when m is equal to 7. So we must remember what this means right here. Okay, We must remember that when you have a number next to a variable, here's your number, here's your variable, it means to multiply whatever 6 times m would be. And as we know, m is equal to 7. So what we have to do is plug in our variable where it needs to go. So 6 times 7 plus 2 is what we're solving. We always move from the left to the right. We do the multiplication first. 6 times 7 is 42 plus 2, okay? And that equals 44, okay? So 44 is the answer that we're looking for. Let's continue with the next problem. Next, we're going to solve z minus 3, I'm sorry, 3z minus 4 when z is equal to 12. So let's plug in our variable, which is z, and we know it's equal to 12. So remember, when you have a, a number and a variable next to each other, it means to multiply. So let's plug things in. 3 times 12 minus 4. 3 times 12 is 36. You subtract 4. 36 minus 4 is 32. And this is the answer that we're looking for. Okay, let's continue. Our next problem is 4h minus 6. We have to solve this problem, or this expression, I should say, when h is equal to 8. Well, right here, h is equal to 8. It's a funny circle. Let me try that again. h is equal to 8. So our problem is 4 times 8 minus 6. What does that equal? Well... 4 times 8 is 32, and you subtract 6, 32 minus 6 is 26, I think. Sorry guys, I have some children in the background bothering me. It is 26. Mrs. Chaparro was right. Okay. So let's move on to the next one. Ooh, I've changed it up for you here. We see that we're going to be adding 5u plus u when u is 15. Well, all that means is that we're going to have to plug 15 in twice. Where we see fit, where we see you in the problem, we see it here, and we see it here. So five times u. So that's the same as saying five times fifteen plus fifteen. Moving left to right, we have to multiply fifteen times five, and as you can see, Mrs. Chaparro needs to work it out. 
and that would be 75. So if I wanted to make this look more pretty, I would take 75 and rewrite my problem. 75 plus 15. Okay, 75 plus 15 should add up to be 90. Okay, and that is the answer that we're looking for.